Welcome in everybody. I'm going to show you how to create um, a balcony and then add some railing around your balcony. So what I've got so far is I've just got like a two story building here and my walls go all the way up to the roof. If, you, if I look on the elevations, you can kind of see that my walls go all the way up to my roof level here. I've got just like a, a glass patio door in there just to kind of have us so we can have a way to get out to our our balcony so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go to my second floor which is here double click that and i want to create a floor because as you can see there's no floor there's a bottom but there's no there's no floor so for the second floor anyway uh, what i'm gonna do is um, i'm gonna create a floor so i go to architecture I'm gonna go to floor. Um, so right now I got floor generic 12 inches. I don't know if I need that. Um, do, do, do. Let's do wood joist, 10 inch wood finish. Let's do that one. Um, so to create my floor, I'm gonna I'm gonna make sure that my pick walls is selected, and I'm gonna go up here to select the inside of my walls here. I'm gonna go all the way around. So, but now I wanna add a little floor that goes out um, to the balcony. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna click on the line tool here. I'm just gonna randomly just um, create kind of a balcony landing out here. Just, I go all the way up to this inside line here so um what i want to do now is i'm going to split i'm going to split this wall because i want to trim this inside i'm going to trim the inside line out here um, in order to kind of make my floor continuous continuous um i'm going to do the split element here and just kind of pick any point on this line here and that just kind of cuts that line in two so now what I can do is I can go up to my trim extend a corner. I'm going to click here, click here. I'm going to click here, click there. So now it, it, you see it kind of cut that, that middle line out. Um, and then what I want to do is I'm going to hit the check mark because I'm done with my floor. It says the roof, blah, 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 blah. Would you like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm just going to say yeah for that. So now you can kind of see if I look at my 3D view, we have our floor there and it kind of comes out. So that's that's our kind of balcony there. So in order to create the railing, I'm going to go back to my second floor and I'm going to click on the railing here. Um, sketch. I could sketch path. Let me click on that. Um, so... I could pick lines here. I'm gonna click on pick lines. I want my railing to actually not be on the edge of this floor. I wanna offset it two inches to the inside of this line. So I'm gonna zoom in here. I'm gonna click that line. Make sure your dashed line goes to the inside. So there's that, there's that, there's that. Now I don't want my I don't my, want my railing to go through the wall here, so I'm going to, I'm just going to click this and drag it to where it meets that outside wall. Click the little dot, drag it down. Um, so there, so right now we're going to have our, it's going to be rectangular. Um, I'll just go ahead and click the check mark to finish it. And we'll look at a 3D view and see what that looks like. So that's, that's an example of how you can create your railing. You can also change, um, if I click the railing, I can, I can click and, and go to different um, options. So I can have, instead of it rectangular, I can have it be kind of circular, which is kind of neat. Um, there's also, I can do the, the glass panel. That's kind of neat as well. Um, I'm going to go back. I'm going to go back to the pipe one. So there we go. Um, yep. 
yeah, I was trying to think of anything else I needed to, I needed to point out there. But um, and normally every time that I've seen the Revit certified user exam, knowing how to do that is it's going to be on the test. So um, yeah, make sure if you have any problems or questions about it, let me know. I can help you out.